from sports and a season high 29 points for LeBron James in the loss. He's speaking with Mike in the media. Brian, you guys jumped up to that fast start. Uh, what did you see change on the floor uh, from that point to the first quarter? Both teams just settled in. Um, we know we played a very good team. Um, so we know it wasn't going to be a blowout tonight and we had to win the game uh, throughout 48 minutes. So uh, we got to a good, really good start, but you know, both teams settled in and just came down to execution. Did you see anything with the, the different in this game from the last couple, uh, LeBron? Did anything different on the floor with the way you guys were flowing? No, I thought um, you know I thought we had some great some great looks um, you know that that didn't go down for us that actually went down for us the last couple of games, um, especially Kuz looks. Uh, he had some great looks tonight, and I think the one that he made by their bench was the toughest one out of all the shots that he uh, had. And we had some good looks around the rim that didn't go in, um, you know, and uh, they capitalized off off um, off some of our mistakes that we had offensively. Thanks. LeBron, Frank said that he didn't feel like the team got a, enough good looks for Anthony. Uh, he thought it was more on the team and getting him incorporated than anything Anthony did. What did you make of AD's night? Um, we always got to do a better job of uh, finding him, looking for him, um, you know, and that's, um, that's on us. Kyle? Hey LeBron, I actually have an off-court question today. Um, you know, you said before that you had to kind of un expect the unexpected in 2020. When you think about, um, you know, what you've done this year, had to adapt with I promise and more than a vote. What do you? What are some of your lessons and, and takeaways from 2020 and, and how it's forced you to evolve those, those efforts? Um, that no matter what's going on, um, you can always still make an impact. Um, no matter, I mean, the world has literally been completely shut down for for months and months and months. And um, but I, I've been able to, um, and my team been able to still try to hit home um, in our community, um, still try to make an impact. Uh, obviously, keeping in mind, um, you know, the um, you know COVID and, and everything that's going on with the pandemic. Um, you know, but you know, just trying to be um, as proactive as trying to be as, as resourceful. Um, trying to be as inspirational um, and also continue to empower people uh, like we were able to do with more than more than a vote, um, getting people out to understand their power um, that they have, their power and their right, uh, rightfully so. Um, so, um, you know, even through a, a, a global pandemic, um, you can still make an impact for the greater of good. <clears throat> uh, last two questions, Dan. LeBron, you guys are going to head out on a road trip for the first time. I mean, the, the preseason, I guess. But um, what's it like to get ready to travel the country right now? Um, and then, and also, I guess, from a basketball standpoint, how unique is it going to be to be playing these kind of couplets, these little mini series against teams, the way you're going to do here in uh, San Antonio, Memphis? Well, it's going to be different. It's going to be very challenging just to hit the road. Um, you know, which we haven't done much. I mean, obviously the Phoenix trip, but you know, it was a preseason game. You didn't want to put too much into it, but you know, now this is the kind of you know, it's the real deal where all the games count. So it's going to be very uh, different. We, we believe, um, you know, going down to Texas and then headed to Tennessee. Um, you know, we we'll see what you know counties are, what's the rules and regulations in certain counties compared to ours. Um, but more importantly, just trying to stay safe, stay, uh, stay healthy, uh, so we can be available for the games. Um, and, um, you know, go out and play our game. You know, go out and play Laker basketball and uh, see what goes from there. LeBron James, I feel like this is a nightly occurrence. Just another milestone. You look at Cap with 1,509 games with 10 points or more. He's number one all time. Carl Malone, two. Dirk is three. And there's LeBron James passing Kevin Garnett, fourth all time. He also has 999 straight game so against san antonio he can make it a thousand with 10 plus points or more let's go back to staples ad speaking with the media ad how's the calf feeling um and how comfortable were you out there tonight it seemed like it took a little bit to, to kind of find the flow of the game uh calf feeling good um 